Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you want to use a single form to display information from two or more related tables in your database, using subforms is the way to accomplish that goal. With subforms, you can view the data from one table, which is the parent table or the one side of a one-to-many relationship, and then also show any related data from a related table, the child table or the many side of the one-to-many relationship, as an embedded subform within the parent form. And this is an excellent way to create one main form that allows the users to edit and add information in multiple tables. In forms that use subforms, the main or outer form displays the table da data that represents the one side of the one-to-many join. The linked subform will then display table data that shows the many side of the relationship between the two tables. You can display data in the subform in either form view, which displays one record at a time, or datasheet view, which shows multiple records at a time and is more common. You can add multiple subforms to a main form, and you can also add subforms within subforms. So when you create subforms, you would first start by creating two separate forms, one for each table. You can then drag the icon of the subform from the database container into the main form displayed in design view, just as if it were a form control. It's often better to create the subform first, as you can then set the display properties for it and decide how large it will be. That way you can leave appropriate space in the main form for the embedded subform when you begin to design that. So for example, we have what will become the parent form. We have the employees, and what I would like to do is show the sales for each employee as a form with an embedded subform. Now first off, I'm going to probably want a little bit more data than what I've given myself room for in this particular form. So you might want to move over the border of the area, the detail area, until you see the resizing icon and just click and drag to make it the size that you'd like. Now I need to make a second form that will show in probably a datasheet view the different orders for whatever employee I happen to select from the list box. So I'm going to close this form. Forms will still be selected. I'll simply click New. And then I'm just going to create through the form wizard, a quick form based on the orders table, and then click OK. Let's say I'd like to see the order ID, the customer ID, and the order date. Of course, you can add as many fields as you'd like, but this is just for an example. I'm going to click Next. For the layout, I'll choose Data Sheet, click Next. The style is irrelevant since it's going to be displayed as a data sheet by default, but if you were choosing a justified view or some view where you would actually see a background, well, you could choose the style you'd prefer then. Click Next, and then I'm going to call it the Order Subform, and click Finish. Once it looks the way I want, I can save it and close that out. So now I have my order subform, which I would like to then add as a subform into the sample form that I was working on that's tied to my employee information. So at this point, I'll probably put the database container in the restore version, so it's a little bit smaller. I'm going to click on sample form and click design. I'm then going to slide it slightly off to the side and in the database container I'm going to take the orders subform and click and drag the icon for the orders subform into the desired location in the sample form. So I click and drag and drop.
So what you should see is after you've inserted the subform into the main form, it will appear as its own large control. You can select it and edit it just as if it were a regular form. You can click on it and resize to change the amount that it takes up. Well, this is a different subform than the one I wanted. You can also delete it. So if I click on it and I look for the resizing icons, which indicate it's selected, I can then just press delete on my keyboard. And then we'll try again. So the one that I needed is the one without the space. So I'm going to choose that one and click and drag that in and drop it in here. Once again, then I may expand the form, resizing the control as desired, and making any other editing changes to it. Notice you can even select the items in the subform and format those as desired. At this point, if I switch it to form view though, and I select, let's say, Nancy DeVolio, here you can see the 123 records for Nancy. Notice that each form has its own set of record navigators. So you can edit information in either one of the forms. There are nine employees and for the currently selected employee, there's 123 orders. If we choose Andrew Fuller, for example, he has 96 orders. And you can see the order ID, the customer, and the order date. And so this is an excellent way to manipulate, edit, add, and see data from multiple tables in a single pl place. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.